As part of National Public Health Week, the group Relay for Life is gathering participants to join a relay Friday. The walk is a 12-hour event starting at 6 p.m. at the KU Recreation Center. Well, even cancer never takes a break. Cancer patients never really get a break. Um, while they're going through treatment, even after treatment, there's a lot of, a lot of hurt, a lot of uh, recovery, and a lot of downtime where they don't feel very good. Senior Community Manager Amy Walter says she got involved with the group after a family member was diagnosed with cancer. For that, my aunt was diagnosed with a second form of breast cancer. She got invited to a cancer survivor's dinner at a Relay for Life event, um, and our family just fell in love. There are many stories similar to Walter's in Douglas County. The chairperson for the event wasn't personally affected when he started working for the group, but that quickly changed. Uh, my aunt actually passed away with cancer, and my uncle is just diagnosed with cancer. So. I am really seeing the effects of it. Effects which apply to many people in the county. 22% uh, or nearly one in four deaths in Douglas County is attributable to cancer. If you are intimidated by the sound of a 12-hour relay, Haas says anyone can participate. There is no running involved. You don't have to worry about running a marathon or anything like that. And all the activities are optional. You can sign up at the door or online. Reporting for KSNT News, I'm KU student journalist Dan Garrett.